feeding this thing a lot of blood. I feel like Seymour in Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> Welcome back all day, Bibbeny versus the Ferret Business. This week we are aiming for our Tier 3 Blood Altar. Uh, to do that, we're a little short on the Stone 1, or as some people call it, Smooth Stone. So we've had to set up a little uh, stone creating apparatus here to make our Smooth Stone so that we can dip it in blood, apparently, and <laughs> make some uh, blank slates in order to uh, make our blood runes to create the next level of our altar. So let's, let's take a peek at what I've done so far. All right, so here we go. We've got a... <laughs> what's, all right, let's look at this. First, I was going to go over and revisit our uh, living rock mechanism here. If I set up the two mana pools and some mana shooters and lenses, I could actually have all of this and, you know, get rid of the pure daisies. I could have all the smooth stone come out. I would have the mana shoot through, collapse the blocks, much like we have in our tree farm. Uh, Hopper Hawk would gather the blocks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I started looking at it and going, that's going to take a lot of setup, and then remembered, oh, right. We can just do an igneous extruder and an aqueous accumulator. Two blocks get the gets the job done. So we had to do first. We had to uh, create our igneous extruder. So let's look up that up that up. And where are we here? Did I spell it right? Yeah. Apparently not, because I put the N in the wrong place. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's try. <laughs> let's. Well, let's try looking at the keyboard when we type, and maybe we'll get it done right. All right, so uh, what do we have? Piston, easy. Glass, and glass is easy. Our servo, it's redstone, iron, and glass. So again, pretty easy. Um, the machine frame, uh, if you let it click by a bit and hold shift now that it's on the machine frame basic so if you hold shift the recipe stops changing the recipe changes to try and tell you everything that is available in case you want a different option if you hold shift you can that you stop the recipe which means if you now left click on machine frame basic you can see what it takes so we're looking at four pieces of glass various types of glass we can use i just use normal glass iron ingots and a tin gear so to make a tin gear we need tin surrounded by iron that's pretty easy, although I did have to actually smelt some tin because apparently I didn't have any tin ingots in my uh, uh, in my AE2 system. So that took a bit. Uh, and by took a bit, I mean I had to wait for the uh, the QE um, uh, the uh, what should we call it to create them. We'll go look at that in a moment. Uh, so that's tin gear and those. That's pretty easy for a basic machine frame. And then we have some copper gears. So we're going to go down, we have our wood gear, four sticks, pretty easy. Uh, that wood gear then with four pieces of cobblestone around it, it makes a stone gear, and the stone gear surrounded by copper makes a copper gear. Again, <laughs> I had a copper issue because I was out of copper. <laughs> so I had to take some stuff over here to our QED, that's the word I was looking for. Oops, we're full up. So again, putting putting a stack of ore here and a stack of coal, the charcoal does not work, uh, creates three of these at once. So that's, as far as I know, the best smelting option. I could make this faster if I put more of the Enderflux crystals around it. Uh, I haven't got to that yet. And in all reality, I should automate this by putting uh, some kind of duct underneath it to pull out and shove it back into our, our ME crafting system here. So... That being said, I also don't want to fill up the system too fast because that can be an issue if I don't have enough of the storage units to store all the product we're getting. That could be quite the issue. Stone one. There we go. So we're making stone one now. So with all of that, we could make our igneous extruder. The igneous extruder, then we grab four buckets of lava and put them into the into the extruder. I did that by having lava bucket in my hand and right-clicking while hovering over the extruder. Uh, that emptied them into there automatically, so that was pretty easy. Uh, then I put some water buckets in by the same process, and I clicked on stone one as opposed to cobblestone, which will make make cobblestone and obsidian so we could pick which one we want uh, by using stone one um, it started consuming the water so every block it makes it consumes uh, 1,000 millibuckets of water so uh, luckily it does not consume the lava 
So I had to go figure out a way to get water into this system. And the easiest way is the aqueous accumulator, which uh, again is, let's look up this recipe, uh, which is very similar to the uh, igneous extruder. So we have our basic machine frame. We have two pieces of glass. We've got a bucket on top that's empty, two copper gears and our servo, so uh, pneumatic servo. So again, same thing as, as before, pretty easy to make. Uh, now to get water into here though, we did we do have to have two source blocks on the same plane as the aqueous accumulator. I have been told that uh, you need at least two, and as I, I proved it when I was experimenting that I, I could not get away with just this one, it was not filling up. Um, so I need two of them, and having a third or a fourth does not make it go faster apparently. That I've not uh, experimented with. So we can see it's going to pull water from the two source blocks around it without depleting those source blocks, creating a continuous source of water, which I have if we get in our configuration tab. So this face here, so this is the front face. To the left of that is the left hand side if you're facing the unit. Uh, and if you right click over this, it changes the settings. So if I go to the top here, we can see orange is, is to uh, push out the water. A blue surrounding will be an input into the into the system. Aqueous accumulator does not have input uh, because it just grabs from around it, so it only has an output, which is orange. Uh, on the other hand, our igneous extruder, again, facing it. The right-hand side is blue for an input, so it's inputting water, and the top is orange for an output because it is outputting into the inner chest here, which, again, shunts it into our system. Oh, look, another blood moon. So that is how we are making smooth stone. And in a, in a bit, I'll probably have to turn this off so that uh, we don't get too much. Because, again, I don't want to flood the system. We should look at our drives. Yeah, so we've still got uh, one of them type, right? There's a lot to go in there. Uh, so we still have, um, oh, lapis, really? Birchwood, interesting. Would not have expected those to be in there. So we still have some drive. We still have room left in these drives. Oh, actually, do we? What are we looking at here? Oh yeah. So these two drives are empty. These three drives are empty. So we still have we still have room for stuff. So that's good. Uh, so I'll leave that running. And if we look at our tab here, let's find some stone. Come on, come on, Tiki. Come on. <laughs> I should really just use the on-screen keyboard or something. I don't know. Come on. There we go. So let's grab a stack of stone. Of course, this is also much easier than having to uh, use it, uh, smelt it somehow. So much, much easier. Who wants to get some target practice with our crossbow? ha, <laughs> ha. Again, I have not yet solved the issue of... Oh, look at that. Iron Bolt's master level. I haven't solved the issue of killing mobs near to the blood altar to try and get more... a better source of blood. Ooh, uh, missed me. But uh, we will solve that probably next once we get to a higher tier. Oh, hi. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So, let's get out of here. Let's go rest because we don't want anything to eat us. Uh oh. Minecraft not responding. There we go. So, we don't want anything to eat us. So, let's go rest for a moment. And let's just get rid of some of this blood moon issues. Uh, so we're going to get rid of the blood moon and most of the mobs. Look at that. That was pretty fast. All clean. Oh, one piece of XP. All right. Clean up after that. Get that as well. <laughs> All right. I tell you, flying makes everything so much faster. All right, so 
Let's dump this into here. We have lots of stone in here already. Oh, I guess we don't need to. So we're making some blood runes, which again, the recipe is blank slates and stone, which is why we need so much stone. And we need, uh, I'm going to say, was it 21 of these? So we need to do it's one down and one out. So basically... We need to do this. So five aside? Yeah. So that's the kind of design we need to do. Three. There we go. And is it I think it's five per side, and then we need to also build a pillar up and have some glowstone on top of it. So let me do one, two, three. I think it's on top of that one. It's land, so we can harvest that. All right. I'm not sure if we need the pillar or just the thing on top of it. So that will be a good question to find out soon. <laughs> Uh, we'll find out pretty fast once we uh, get our stone up and running. And we'll eventually have to get rid of those, but I'll wait until the end here. All right, so I'm going to dip some of these in our blood altar, and we're going to make some blank slates. And we will be right back. All right, so... I was having some issues with making the blank slates because in the tier 2 uh, blood altar, whenever we put the stone in, it, once it turns into a blank slate, it'll automatically start consuming blood and upgrade to the next tier of blank slate. So I decided to make another altar over here so that we would have one a tier 1 altar that would only do the blank slates and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. It would stop once the blank slate was made. Sadly, I got a little carried away <laughs> with the sacrificial dagger and uh, stabbed myself to death. <laughs> so there's a nice little uh, there's a nice little graystone behind me. Uh, I did run downstairs to get some armor, but everything is actually in the inventory there. So uh, I was a bit of an oops. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oops. No, I don't want to. Oh, oh don't jump down there. That would hurt. Let's open this up. Oh, look at everything. Ooh, I got an achievement. Getting stronger. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. What do I... Oh, no, I got everything. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let's put this in there. Let's, uh, let's get our gear back on. As we should have it. And then let's find this... So that we can put these armor bits back in. <laughs> and then we're just going to reorganize absolutely everything. Oh, right. And then, of course, all my stuff fell off too, didn't it? All right, angel ring. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, and what's this? Pyroclast. Yes, because I want to keep the tainted blood pendant over there. Uh, what else? Cape. There we go, and let's make sure that's there, that's there, this belongs here somewhere, tablet can stay there, that can go down there, books, crossbow, bread, our other food, oh, title, where is that, that goes into that one, there we go. Uh, title, which is what? Professional Tree Puncher. There we go. That's better. Not sure what all these do. I wish I had to... Uh... Cool if, a, if we had backpacks that actually went in there. Maybe we do, and I just don't know which one it is. Uh, which is more than possible. Uh, let's see. We have a bunch of these. That can go up here, too. This book can go here. Our Sacrificial Dagger. The... This can go up here as well, and this can go away. All right, I think we're back to where we were. Let's fill that hunger. 
And what do we got here? Yeah. Okay. So let's try and learn from our mistakes and not stab ourselves to death. Which is easy to do if you get too clicky-clicky. Uh, let's do this. Let's put on the other pendant. You know what I should really do? Well, I should really fill this in to begin with. Uh, I should really go and take the nether star that I have and build a beacon. Because if I put a beacon underneath there and I make it as big as I can with the iron blocks, I bet you that I would have regeneration all the time without having to put this pendant on while I'm at home, which would be very helpful. Hmm. Maybe we can do that while I'm getting these prepped. Let me go look at the materials that I have and see if I have enough to do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, I have a beacon, which is... What is the recipe for that? We have a nether star with some glass and some obsidian. So we had one nether star, and we had lots of glass and lots of... Well, lots of obsidian. Glass is easy to make. Uh, what else do we have? We have blocks. So we need blocks to build pyramids to power the beacon. Um, the larger the pyramid, up to four levels, the larger the range and the more options we have for powers. Uh, to make a full-size four-tier pyramid, you'd have to have two stacks of blocks plus uh, 36. <laughs> so that's a lot of blocks. I currently have the QED working on some more iron to make iron blocks, uh, but right now all we have is 27. So let's go find a spot. Now the question is, do we want to put this down or do we want to put this up? Because it kind of makes sense to put this out at the top of the lighthouse, except for the fact that of course when we build it to be bigger, it'll be much, much bigger. And it'll take up a lot of room. But if we put it here, the issue is I won't be able to use this to get up here anymore. So I'll have to go up the hard way. But I'm not using this spot for anything. So that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. And we could actually build the whole beacon in here. It will be slightly off center for the now. We can build a four beacon. We can put four at the top. Uh, so let's do, what is that, living rock. Let's look up some living rock. Let's, let's light up our lighthouse. How's that sound? So let's see if we can get this, because I want to keep that. Up through the hole. Let's do you, Pikachu. All right. And now we need to build a pyramid. Uh, let's see. So what do we got? That's not center. Center-ish. So that's the lowest tier pyramid. I would like to make the highest tier eventually, but uh, we don't have enough to do that. So if I went another couple blocks, I don't think we even have enough to do what we need. Yeah, we don't have enough to do those. So if I do this in the center... And these for future expansion. Let's see if the incomplete pyramid will work. Yay, beacon! Uh, what's that going to do for us, though? Let's secondary, primary, regeneration, uh, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength. Oh, I see. So we're currently at tier one. Oh, we've got to get all the way up to tier 4 before we can get the secondary regeneration power. So, that's too bad. That being said, let's pick speed. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to power it with something. And let's find some iron, because I know we have some. So, it looks like we need to power it. Speed check mark done. Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't see any speed boost. Hmm. Oh, and it's also not on. Hmm. 
Obviously, I need to go do some research, being as I've never set up a beacon before. Hmm, sad, eh? That is the truth. One more. Alrighty, so it would appear that part of the problem is this needs to be open to the sky. So, let's make that happen. Ta-da! Cool. So speed. Done. I don't know what this does. Does it activate it? Oh yeah, look. So now we have speed. Yay! Cool. Do not have regeneration though because of course we need a much bigger pyramid. But uh, we are working on that. That is a work in progress. Okay, so what does that look like from out here? Woohoo! Well, look at that. We finally have a use for that top room in, the, in, the, in our lighthouse. And now there's actually light coming out of our lighthouse. Yay! Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's put some glass in the top here because the beacon will shoot through the glass. Uh, it's the problem is it needs to be a transparent block on top, or bedrock, apparently. <laughs> Am I flying? There we go. <laughs> Got caught in the light. Blinded by the light. If you're as old as I am to remember those songs, although I'm sure there's lots of people out there that are as old or not older than myself. Because uh, I'm not exactly a young person, and this is not exactly a young person's game. Or not just a young person's game. That's one of the things I like about Minecraft is there's a lot of people that play Minecraft that is all all ages, which is pretty nice. All right, so we're going to continue doing this for a while as I get the items. So I need 18 more of these blocks uh, of the blank slates before I can finish making all the blood runes that I need. I need 20 of them to finish this level. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and then we'll be back. All right, here we are. We have 20 of the recipes for the blood runes. So let's hold our left shift and hit left click and boom, we have 20 of them. So what are we going to do? We are going to dig some stuff out. Actually, let's do this. And we're going to place these instead. I've picked some as the pillar. I'm not sure if I need pillars here or not underneath the glow stone. Uh, but I have chosen to use sky stone just for fun. Because I thought it looked kind of cool. And there's the blaze men starting up. Uh, so, the next level of our Blood Orb, though, is going to require 40,000 life points. So, that is going to be a bit... It's going to take a little bit of life, because our altar only holds 10,000 life points. So, that is going to be a bit of a chore to get in there, because we're going to have to do a bunch of stabbing ourselves and then let it absorb and then stab ourselves again and let it absorb <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what this says. It's a tier 3. Yay! Tier 3. Yay! Alright, so what do we need to do? We need a block of gold to make our next level of orb. So I'm going to put the gold in there and we're going to see it's going to consume. Yay! <laughs> So we're going to have to sit here and do this. Uh, I have chosen to do the stairs down so we can continue the stairs. Once we get the next layer, which will be out here at ground level, uh, I will mo I will move those stairs out a section. In fact, why don't I just do that now while I'm waiting for this? And then that way I'll get used to the rigmarole. Rigmarole, there you go. There's a good word for you. So I'll do that. So that's what, the three... So I believe that's where the next layer comes out, comes out to. So it's uh, like that. Nope. Sorry. Right. Have to double check. I can't remember if it's. No, it's one more out. 
Does it come out to there? Does it come out to there? Maybe it comes out to there. Yeah, that would, that would keep it the pattern. I don't know. Anyway, I'll go look at it. I'm gonna just, I'll just leave these right here. And then we can run up and down. Look at that, it's out. So let's stab ourselves a bit. Let's see if we can get this uh, gold thing to work. All right, so let's also change out. Tainted Blood Pendant. We are running out of mana for our pendant to work, so I might have to look at... Ooh, thunderstorm. I may have to look at uh, getting some more mana into our mana tablet because we are using it faster than our armor can generate it. So, but well, that's okay. Jeepers. How long is this going to take, I wonder? Could also go grab a potion of regeneration. Wow, it is sucking that stuff up really fast. Mm. Yeah, well, we still got a little bit here. Let's just keep doing it. And we're watching our mana and our health because it does not help if we stab ourselves to death. Because, hey, I proved that over there already, didn't I? <laughs> Come on. Of course, the problem is I have no idea how much I've used already. Uh, each stab gives us 200. If I was smart, I guess what I would do is I would actually take these and change some of these into the um, extra returns runes, which would increase our ability to, or the amount of blood that we're putting into our system every time I stab myself. So, let's see, that's, yeah, so that's definitely going to have to be up there. So yeah, I think that's going to be our next layer. Anyway, lots more rune stones to make. So that's going to be, uh, th that part I will do off screen because that's going to be boring as I sit there and stab myself and make a bunch of runes. I'm also going to have to find out how many uh, I need. So at this point, I don't exactly know how many I need or what I need to make them. So that will be the next trick. It is to find out how much uh, stone and stuff we need, and in fact, do I is it more of the blood rune, or what do I need? Do I need a new block? That will be the next research project off camera. Uh, nice thing, too, is we're almost out of toast. Once the toast is gone, I'm going to uh, replace it with the rice cake. Not sure if it's better than the toast, but uh, I've got a lot of it. So I'm going to use it next, and that will free up a slot in my inventory. Almost out of mana. I think we can do this. I'll have to leave my other... Um, I'll have to stop using my gen regeneration uh, pendant for a while, because I'll need to let my mana refresh... Although it doesn't seem like the armor is actually refreshing it, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Wow. I guess I should stay focused on it. Don't lose focus. could also go kill some of these guys. Do I have my sword? I don't. Where is that sword? Let's see if a tier 3 is enough to... Uh... I suppose I put it in over... Oops. Up out of there! I put it in here? I did. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go see if I can stab you McStabbers in some of these. I should probably also enchant this sword, because this, this sword takes forever to kill anything. Two whole damage a hit. Woo! Go away, go away. As opposed to this sword, which is an instant kill. Ha <laughs> I can't resist it. All right, <laughs> look at that. Level 10 already. All right, so I'm not convinced that's doing any anything, so let's just stab here. Because this will actually fill up the altar. I'll have to do some research and figure out what what will uh, allow us to get blood into this thing, because I'm uh, quite disappointed that uh, I haven't built it close enough for it to work already. So we'll have to see. Oops. One more. Contract. To check on the contracts I have. Oh, my pendant is out of juice. Let's take it off. We can see if this will uh, fill up or not on its own. So we should start seeing the blue bar reappear because we have armor on that should be refilling our mana bar. According to this, 
If we hold shift, it says uh, lost cost regen even hunger isn't topped off. Passive mana generation on mana tablets. So we have a mana tablet there, so it should be passive generating on that, but I, I'm not convinced that's actually working. Because as we see, the bar is not filling up. So we're going to have to see on that. Let's see if we can find a regeneration. Potion. Ta-da! Let's toss that back in there. <laughs> Whoa! Trippy. Alright. Come on. Almost there. Well, that was it. Regeneration's over already? Wow, that was awful. Hmm. Oh well. That is what it is. I really wish there was a way to get uh, the blood from the orbs into the system, because... I mean, if I look at the system, it says I have, like, 21,000 life points in there, so it's too bad I can't access any of that for this project. It's also too bad I can't tell how much I have in there, because, you know, I'd love to have it change while it's on camera. But I think we're going to have to uh, pause here while I fill this up with my own blood. <laughs> And we'll come back once I have the next tier of orb. All right, all. This is going a little too slow for my taste, so I am going to build some rune of self-sacrifice, which should boost up how much blood I get out of sacrificial knife. So there's two. Well, sorry, one stone, one stone, one stone, one stone. So four stones, one per corner. A glowstone, the reinforced slate, which is a blank slate like we have here to our left but thrown into a tier 2 altar so it continues to absorb blood until it upgrades to tier 2 and our apprentice blood orb because if we switch our orbs here you notice with our first level orb our tier 1 it doesn't create it so we actually have to have at least a tier 2 so let's grab two of these and put our orb back on us put that back in there and I did have to go, I've gone and I've refilled my mana tablet and put the uh, put the Tainted Blood pendant on it with the re, uh, regeneration, because that's how bad this was going. Uh, it's, just, it's just taking a really long time. So let's take that out. And let's take, make sure I don't get the glowing bit. Uh, all right, so now we need to put these two blocks in. So I'm going to put one there, I'm going to put one there. All right. Uh, the, other, the other thing I've found, not only is my regeneration really slow, uh, those um, fish wraps I had were awful for, for hunger. Uh, I could eat them, and then they would almost immediately, I, I would uh, go down a hunger bar because they had next to zero saturation so okay. okay I can't tell how much it is because of course the cube is absorbing it way too fast so let's just do this all right well, let's see how fast we can get this uh, up now back in a minute all right so a little bit of the mystery solved uh, why it's taking so long. Uh, the website I had uh, working on said that it took uh, 40,000. And if I look at this, it says 25,000. So something between the two is not really meshing, but I'm really surprised I don't have this yet because I would have thought that uh, I was there by now. The other thing I realized is that my sword here has necrotic on it so another fast way to heal is to go kill these guys <laughs> so I'm gonna keep working at this but uh, for the moment I'm out of time for the week so I'm gonna have to craft this off screen and we are just gonna have to come back next week and see where I'm at and hopefully <laughs> if hopefully I'll have a new pendant by the or a new uh, magician's orb by then. I don't think I'm missing anything. The tooltip definitely says this is a tier 3 altar. Got a block of gold and I'm pouring blood into it like crazy. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bit of patience and maybe the tooltip's wrong. And it's not 25,000. It's 250,000. Uh, hard to say. 
So, anyway, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, if you liked the episode, thumbs up, please. Go for it. You know where it is. Right down there. Yeah, right below. Down, right there. Yeah, go ahead. Click it. <laughs> and if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. And when I remember, I'll tell you when the episodes come out. Usually I release the episodes pretty late at night, so I'll try and wait until the morning to try and do the Twitter. Uh, also, I'm usually hitting the button to uh, publish it and then going to bed and then remembering in the morning to set it up. So I do tweet out when I have new episodes in a relatively timely fashion, usually within 12 hours. So anyway, that's it for this week. I will catch you next time with some more Minecraft. Have fun punching trees. See y'all. Bye-bye.